Okay, lock, stop, spring, and skew. Those four things affect autofocus in a DSLR. Most people don't know how the autofocus works in a DSLR. We actually have a primary mirror right here, which directs, directs light up through the viewfinder and then to your eye, but it is a semi-transparent mirror. You can probably see the secondary mirror behind there. Here we go, and it's on the back. If I actually lift up the primary mirror, you'll actually see the secondary mirror lift up and it will lock in to the back of the primary. This secondary mirror actually drops light at this angle, and I've already removed it. It's the autofocus sensor, which sits right underneath here. I actually sold that since it was good working. This is a Nikon D500, by the way. This is a modern DSLR. This is as modern as it gets. I actually show you, you see the hole right here in the bottom of the light box? That's where the light's directed to the autofocus sensor, which would be right there, but it's missing because I took it out. The uh, light from the secondary mirror drops at the autofocus sensor. Now this isn't an issue normally at all in a DSLR. Well, sometimes it can be. By the way, every DSLR body on the mirror Mac and uh, uh, the uh, Mac for the shutter has about a bazillion springs in case you didn't notice. Yeah, here we go. I said this is a D500. Um, lock, stop, spring, and skew. There's a spring up here. Obviously, let me show you actually the amount of play we actually have in the secondary mirror. This is the locking pin for the secondary mirror. After 100,000, 200,000 actuations, this can easily get bent, okay? It's meant to stay in place. It's a thin little pin. It locks on an open clasp on the secondary mirror. So we have lock, the stop of the mirror, the spring, and then the skew, actually how much the actual secondary mirror can skew. So we have lock, stop, spring, and skew as four different factors which affect autofocus accuracy on a DSLR. Now, if you're shooting at f2 and above, really f2.8, not an issue. However, as the camera wears or due to uh, uh, discrepancies so within uh, the uh, default tolerances of manufacture or a combination thereof, and the fact that we actually have uh, four variables, lock, stop, spring, and mirror skew, this is what happens when you're shooting wide open at, say, f1.2, f1.4, f1.8, f2, wherein people say, I can't calibrate my lens. Uh, <laughs> hey, for some reason, my lens keeps drifting. Yeah. Instead of uh, thinking your lens is at fault, and uh, this is uh, an issue on DSLRs, especially as they get older, there's a spring. You know what happens when you actually, this is a fact that the government studied very heavily, when it came to magazine springs. It's not actually tension underneath the spring that wears a spring out. It's repeatedly doing this that will wear a spring out. Um, so we actually have lock, stop, spring, and skew for the four tolerances with, which affect autofocus. Because your camera, here's the fundamental point that people don't seem to get. Your camera has no idea how to autofocus your lens or where more importantly, to autofocus your lens without the accuracy of the autofocus module being fed the correct information from, wait for it, wait for it, from the correct alignment from the secondary mirror. For the secondary mirror, the spring can wear out, the pin can bend, it can't reset every time, especially shooting continuous high when the spring gets older, the camera gets older, will not always reset to the same spot. So, lock, stop, spring, and skew. We have those four variables for feeding correct alignment of information to the autofocus sensor. And here we go when we talk about a design flaw inherent to DSLRs. Like I said, this is not an issue. You're shooting f2, f2.8, and above. But when you're shooting wide and the spring wears out and the mirror doesn't reset to the same spot, yeah. Yes, folks, this used to be a Nikon a D500. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you later. Yeah, this mirror is dirty. This is something you should never do. I love, like, uh, here you go. I've got to stick my fingerprint right there. Oh, my God, don't do that. I did it. <laughs> Bye.